110. Uh, yeah, that would be 60. So it's right in between the cold damage. So it, it doesn't vary that much, which makes cold damage the safer bet if you want to increase uh, skills damage by like a flat amount rather than physical. Or on the other hand, uh, just go for pure physical damage, get a physical skill, and you don't have to think about that that much. It's only one problem, the physical skill would kind of work with the base. The base again works with the weapon. The weapon can actually be, yeah, kind of modified to work with it. So, yeah. Oh, another Haku? No, Tora, the Explorer. One, two, three, and four. Let's lure them here. Another one, and another one, and another one. Oh, oh. Maybe we could get rid of another point so I can use my golem to explode. That would be the better solution. Because other than that, my golem's just there for to be a buffer. It has no actual value to me other than just being there. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just there. Sometimes it uh, keeps the enemies at bay. Uh, but then they are already further away than they should be. When I'm safe, the golem will... Well, actually, when I'm too far away, the golem won't do anything. That's the other issue. The AI has to get improved on the golem. <laughs> Not to be... in Well, like... Three different options. Aggressive, defensive, and... Uh, norm or passive, kind of. Defensive, kind of, or re aggressive, reactive, uh, or no, active, reactive, and uh, passive, kind of. So it doesn't do much, it just stays there, really. Or actually, do you need two or three? Because that's the thing, like, aggressive in this case means it rushes. Okay, um, the moment you see an enemy, it will attack it. Or like, if an enemy attack charges at you, the golem will know that and intercept them. Then it attacks and maybe at some point it will change targets if like there's uh, an enemy that's closer to you and has to take care of. That would make the stone golem useful because right now you can't do shit with it. It's just there to give you health regeneration, that's it. And to explode. Like all the other nice columns. Those, 45%, I see. Nice. Ooh. The good part is, as long as I don't corrupt the waterways, I don't need to make it rare either. Because I won't get the bonus for the, uh, for the higher maps there. Okay, 57. We still don't have that one yet. The maze. That one can turn into the four, which is this one? No, the, the four. The four is this one. Okay, so I have to finish the cells, find the following map, send for the excavation, and the flooded mines. So there are still some early maps that have to be finished. Maybe you can get 
like 70 something percent no let's just count on that one two three four five six seven eight uh nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 uh 22 23 24 25 26 27 i don't know if i have come them already uh 28 29 20 20 10 30 31 uh okay so it's roughly 100 percent if you manage to get uh, all the previous ones maybe even more Okay, do I wanna or do I not wanna fight? Yeah, come on, why not fight against the boss? Eight? Why not? Oh shit, how much damage do I do? 1848. I thought the spinner would be the one that jumps. Hmm. Okay. One of them is done. Next. And another one. Oh, spider so grow up sweet. One, two, three. Okay, got it. Come on, two and three, and there is. Come on. Where's the zapper? Two, three, and set again. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, one of them is dead. The other one is at low health. Any moment now. There we go. Nothing that could fit in there. Great. Let's see. I found some nice items. Very, 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 very nice. It's not something to identify. Anyway, one can be all be identified. So this one, socketed gems are level uh, supported by <gasps> level twenty spell totem. Oh, 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 sweet. Um, yeah, it's a spider silk robe. Um, I have no idea if that's good or not. The energy shield is definitely horrendous. <laughs> Increased totem life. Uh, increased totem uh, spell damage. Need. Uh, can have up to one additional totem summoned at a time. Ooh. <laughs> Inflicts a random level 20 curse on you when your totem die. Oh. Nope, not gonna happen. I'm squishy enough. <laughs> I can't need any curses. It's a nice thing for the build, but that's not going to happen. So, it's a trap. Like, it could be slow or anything, uh, and if that happens at a boss fight, I'm getting slowed or, like, uh, getting weaker to, like, a physical damage or something like that, then I'm instantly getting killed. Uh, so I have to get, like, another flask in there that removes curses, and I have to just trigger this every time just to kind of counteract this thing. No. Um... But at least it's level 20 spell totem. Yeah, I could keep it. <sighs> but compared to this rare one, it still has iffy values. I don't see the benefit in it. 
and even like get it, it's good if you don't have uh two additional totems on let's say the come on um as an ascendancy because right now every time i use a totem i reduce the damage as well that would be good if you don't have that ascendancy perk but still you would lose out so much damage uh well, like Tankiness, not damage. Damage being taken, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Left regeneration, cold resistance. Da, 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 da. Um, I do have that one. Lightning resistance. Okay, now what could I do? Because, uh, like, because of the rings and the belts, I'm kind of bound to these amounts of resistances. Uh, even if I find, let's say, something better, that might not be the one, but... Yeah, it's okay, it's increased physical damage, I don't need that. Um, this is something for... Yeah, I should go for the Chaos, uh, chaos recipe, so I can collect multiple amulets and rings and then finish it. So increased uh, elemental damage with attack skills. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't. Do, huh, I want to sell it. So increased physical damage. Yeah. Again, and increased spell damage. Yeah. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah. That 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 would actually be really good with the glacial cascade. No, it wouldn't, because the increased physical damage is put on the weapon and not as a general thing on the side. Ah, oh, come on, why? But there is at least, oh, fire, flat damage to spells. That is good. Uh, increased critical strike chance. Nah. I'm not going for crits, but okay. Compared to this one, it has increased spell damage, increased spell damage, increased physical. Uh, intelligence, increased lightning damage. Again, increased chance to blind enemies on hit. Mm, okay. But yeah, this one has the nice flat damage on it. Mm-hmm. I have to look into the so and so much uh, flat fire or whatever element comes to mind bonus damage. So yeah, adds cold damage. Wait, not to spells. This is just in the weapon damage. Um, increased battery generation, crit strike. Okay, this one is not as good. That might be our next one. I would only lose thirty five percent, but. Uh, uh, It, it just I have to try, I have to try that let's let's just try that um the linking is still fairly decent do I need this one I could keep it for the recipe so that one is almost done where do I put this this is recipe stuff wait this one has to be put right up there so okay now I have some room for recipes Goody, uh, ring number one, ring number two. <laughs> okay, now, biggest question is, how do I get elemental resistance? Uh, when I need like, okay, wait a second. Huh. I need bonus damage to spells either fire whatever element don't really care it would be nice to be the one for the skill that I'm using mm. but in order to be safe for uh, with the elemental resistances I have to take a two stone ring or like um yeah, let's just quickly look up two stone rings and single stone rings, depending on what might be the better solution. So, two stone ring, uh, stone ring. Uh, come on, okay, let's rings. Let's go for rings. Then there are, of course, unique rings. Yeah, thank you for that. And then there's, of course, something with the opal ring. What the? Interesting. Requires level 80. Okay. Where do, where do you get those? A bonus to in, uh, elemental damage. 
Interesting. And then, of course, the prismatic ring is 10% to all elements. I have one of those already. And I think it... Yeah, it might be at... Uh, where is it? Yeah, 10. So it's already maxed. Sweet. Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> okay, what about two stone rings? Two stone rings are not... Interesting. They're not here in the list of rings. They seem to be missing. Yep. So, these are not all the rings. And all League's prismatic rings can only be found when using a specific vendor recipe, vendoring three two stone rings, with each one having two different elements in there. Okay, so... The two stone ring gives you... Oh, come on, why is there the stuff not in here anymore? The two stone ring... Oh, come on. So, let's see. Vendor recipe. Let's look uh, up render, vendor recipes for rings. Crafting unique item. No. Oh, crafting material, equipment, basic item product. Let's go basic. There we go. Uh, iron ring and red skill gem makes ruby ring. That's why everybody's so uh, keen on getting the iron rings. I thought, like, okay, iron rings is physical. You get different builds. Not everybody needs physical, but you can put, make those rings into the uh, resistance rings. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So... Oh, come on. The two stone ring page. That's the one that I want to look at. Uh, why? Alright. So yeah, two stone ring, two stone ring, two stone ring. Uh, P.O.E. Two stone ring. Power of Exile Wiki, yeah, that's not that much. 12 to 16. Okay, 12 to... Wait, why is it 12 to 16? Not 15 or something. Hmm. Okay, that means that you kind of get more if you take the two stone ring. Hmm. Okay, let's say you have two um, three stone rings or like whatever that thing is. So that was the opal, the power ring, and not quite. Da, 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 da. Prismatic ring, that's the one. Um, so you get 10 to all elemental resistances. So you get two of those, so you get bonus 20 for everything. Bonus 20 to everything, that's. Uh... <sighs> uh, first element, second element, second element, third element. If you get two two stone rings, you actually get the slightly better version, right? Right. Because uh, the two stone rings have like 16 each and then a uh, 16 combined for like a third element. Or you could go with like uh, two times the same uh, two stone rings, so both of those could combine to 32 uh, resistance for two elements. And then you just need to get the 32 for like, uh, from another one, which is basically... Yeah, okay, you don't have that much uh, room for this anymore, damn it. Hmm, so the resistance is on it. The resistances are safe. And then you could fill this up with uh, bonus resistances or something. Hmm. Bonus to fire damage might be a primary, so let's go for POE affix. We are looking for... What are we looking for? Uh, energy shield boots. Actually, no, let's not uh, take too much time here. Let's just uh, put all of that stuff right in there real quick. And then 
Uh, we... Because there are still some items left in this area. I don't want this to close. <laughs> uh, Stormclide, almost finished. Life armor, uh, takes a look. Oh, okay, wait, one in four, one in four. God, give me. Come on. Hmm. All right. And those two, where do we put those? Those two, that's a funny one. And that's also interesting. I don't know if I want to use it. Hmm. Is the base armor is too iffy. I am no beast of burden. Whoa, all of those were eights. It's so that's uh that's another one of those. And one of those. Okay, and the rest should fit in there fairly well, right? <laughs> Three, four, five. I mm, could put like Two, three, four, five, six of them. Oh, four, five, five. Yeah, five, 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 five. Good. Five. five, five, five. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome. Fate will find you. Doom, 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 doom. Let me tell your future. I will see you again. Hmm. The thing right now is that uh, the items that I have right now I was focusing more on like energy shield and stuff. Hmm, this decent ish. That could actually be better for defense. Huh. Huh. If I take this away? Okay. Um, 3967. 4174. So it's 200 energy shield. Like this ring alone is 200 energy shield. Very interesting. What about this one? A little less. It's only 70. So. Yeah, there are, there's only 23 maximum energy shield on it. This one, on the other hand, is like 110. This one is far more, that's 400. And this one is more than that, it's like uh, 5 or even 600. Right? No, it's like 500 something. Uh, this one doesn't do much. Nope. Just a little bit of energy shield, just a little bit because of the intelligence. This one, of course. Yeah, kills it. But out of all those items, it had the highest impact together with maybe this one. Free free. Free four. And of course that one is the best. Two one turns into uh free actually no wait a second. Uh, with the haste. And there's, yeah, there's no, there wouldn't be any discipline. So let's try this without the discipline so we know what happens. So 3-4 uh, turns into a 2-1, so I lose 1,300. 3-4 um, turns into a 2-7, so I lose 700. Followed by 2-7-90, that's okay. It's another 700, so they're almost the same. 120, 200, actually this one is slightly better, so wait, wait. Two seven hundred eight, two seven ninety. Okay. Is this one any better because it has bonus to all attributes? Might be. And therefore, it also improves intelligence a little bit, making the bonus to energy shield have a higher impact as well. All right. Uh, three four. 3 1, so yeah, it's 300. And 3 4 to 3 thousand, so it's 500. Yeah, and that one has like 3 4 to 3 2, so it's 200. This is like only 100 even. 3 4 15, 3 4 80 something, and then little impact. Good. Oh, and this one. 3 3 70. Good. So that one has very little impact. Um, Then it grows slightly like this one, this one. What was it? Three one, oh, yeah, and this was three thousand. Then we have two seven and another two seven, and this one is a one thousand and three hundred. Okay, so these three parts have the highest energy shield, 
I'm gonna take those two away. I only have 200. Yeah, it's, it's still not enough. Like, I would lose more than I would gain. Hmm. Okay, that means we should focus on energy shield and. Yeah, the, the body gear, this, 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 and the rest has to be not energy shield, but, uh, yeah, damage and resistance. The thing is, this needs damage and resistance. This could also have resistance on it, so that, yeah, okay, if, if we focus on... An energy shield on the on the body armor part, uh, and then we focus on damage on the rings. There will be some amount of uh, resistance on the rings anyway uh, afterwards, and also some uh, resistance on the uh, on the gear, on the uh, on the armor, so that it overlaps, and I might reach the threshold of seventy five. Like the cap. Okay. So damage comes from the weapon. The rings. And I don't know what to do with the belt. Because that one uh, helps me with the <laughs> physical reduction. <laughs> if, like I don't know if that even has a nice effect. Like 394. That's... Uh, it's so low. Anyway. Maybe you just take the belt that kind of like fits the whole thing, binds it together, holds it in place, uh, like a glue kind of item. Ah, that one, I can't do much with it because that's like kind of stuck at this position because of the cannot stunt thing. Great. Ha! Ah, so damage on the rings, energy shield on the armor. Another other bit of damage, of course, on here, depending on what's up there. Like sometimes there's also spell damage on the uh, on a spirit shield or whatnot. So hmm, that means I have to craft some rings with bonus fire damage. And also, come on. Hmm. Uh, fire damage to attacks. That's nice. Uh. Yeah, I tend to not use it anymore, right? So that one can be. Oh, that one can, could be used for a recipe. Uh. So let's put this up here. Don't really know what to do with this ring, though. So ring bases, ring bases. Uh, oh wait, there's uh, there's still some uh, items I have to take out of there, like five other ones. So we forgot about. Nope, nope. Okay, already took them. Good. So yeah, ring affixes. So we're looking for. Mm, come on, accessories, rings. Uh, the prefix is adds so and so much to like minimum to maximum uh, physical code, fire or lightning damage to attacks. Or it does percentage increased elemental damage with attack skills. No, we don't need increased elemental damage. We need um, something with like fire damage to spells. That's interesting. Okay, and then there is, for example, the suff. Where is it? Come on, prefix and the and this suffix. Yeah. Huh. Something is off. I can't seem to find bonus number of uh, like physical, cold, and fire, whatever damage. Hmm. Something like two spells or so. That would be sweet. Hmm. Okay, what is that ring though? Was it, 
Was that even a ring? No. Uh, wasn't Why have I found the like so and so much to fire? Mm, this is just two attacks, like this is a general one. But uh Oh no! Oh okay, I find it on the one. The wand had it. Hmm. The wand has four spells. The rings have increased bits of damage. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What else we got? We, uh, they also have uh, increased cast speed, which goes, yeah, huh, <laughs> five to seven. Oh, crap, that's definitely not enough. And then you have seven to eight, yeah, attack speed, that's nice. Of course, we have slightly higher ones. What else we got? Uh, maximum energy shield, okay, 47. Maximum is there like increased energy shield? No, there's there's only increased elemental damage with attack skills. Some lightning damage. Yeah, two attacks. Come on. Why are do attacks have uh the separate physical damage to it? Or like elemental damage to it? That's so mean. Not increased, adds to. Like there's a base amount of bonus happening there. I need the base. Increased evasion, damage to attacks, faster start of da 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 da. Then there's uh, increased rarity of items found, okay. Number to level of socketed gems, yeah, but why would you put like one gem on there? Like, it makes no sense. Accuracy rating, da da da. Some intelligence as a suffix, yeah. I don't see a nice uh, prefix on rings here. That would be in any way beneficial for casters that want to go offensive. I see physical uh, attack damage leached as life or leached as mana, but this again is physical damage. It has nothing to do with most of the spells. Then there's increased elemental damage with attack skills. How much is that? 42%. Okay. But yeah, it's attack skills, damn it. Attacks, 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 attacks. Uh, can there be something that's like useful for casters? That's only to maximum mana. As if maximum mana is that important. Uh, bonus energy shield. Uh, strange. My suspicion grows that there's a certain type of build that's just been enforced with the items. You can only have specific prefixes on these rings that are all of them oriented for melee or like attack oriented builds bows maybe bows might be the best uh thing to go for because first of all their range which is kind of uh like cast the builds so stand away from all of it and they use attacks uh, instead of spells hmm which means you can go a little more aggressive on that. Okay. And then... What uh, what kind of prefix could you get? Like, there are an awful lot of suffixes on rings, but... Hmm. Like, there are uh, the, of course, elemental uh, resistant suffixes. Then there is increased uh, cold fire and lightning damage. Which you could actually go for increased lightning damage on attacks and increased lightning... Damn it. Added lightning damage on attacks and increased lightning damage on the suffix so that it synergizes together. Maybe even go for increased attack speed mm -hmm. even more. And then you could go for, let's say, um. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, maybe there's something else there. Wait a second. Is there something physical oriented? Yeah, there's bonus strength uh, on the suffixes. Then you get like. Mana gained on kill, okay. Da -da 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 -da. Resistance, yeah, percentage to all elemental resistance, increased mana regeneration rate, life regeneration rate, rarity is on pre and suffix, increased light radius, da -da 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 -da. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Some regeneration stuff. Life gained for each enemy hit by your attacks. This Plus physical damage leached as life. Then you could go for yeah attack speed and bonus physical damage to attacks. So these are four already. 
Then you could go for, um, hmm, maybe increase something to maximum life. That would be pretty interesting. And then uh, bonus to strength in order to emphasize that. On the suffix, like that would be a fairly interesting ring component. Uh, okay, like the idea that I had is okay, maybe you could get rid of increased uh, cold fire lightning damage on the passive tree and kind of like go for a uh, defensive oriented one instead of offensive. So that you go f yeah but there are no base damage bonuses on the passive tree so that's not going to happen huh. so you need base damage on the spells you need more uh like percentage more damage also on the spells on the gems in this case hmm and increased maybe on the uh on the gear But I don't want to have like multiple base additions, and like that's that's just so strange. Ha! Huh. How could you use the rings to be beneficial for a caster? Because the only thing I can see here is like to maximum energy shield and to maximum mana. Go for like mind over matter stuff. But that restricts it fairly well. Whereas the attack oriented build has the potential to go for damage, tankiness or leech. Which is kind of like a medium thing. In between. There's even evasion rating in there. <laughs> uh, no armor but evasion rating. Oh come on. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> then there are some master mods which are increased evasion rating, adds so and so much chaos damage to your attack. There, there we got chaos damage, of course, but only for attacks. Faster start of energy shield recharge, yeah. Huh. Then what else we got? Bonus to armor, increased damage with poison, adds uh, number to number cold damage per frenzy charge. This is one thing that also a caster could use, an essence mod. But then, yeah, you need an essence for it and you can't just re-roll it until you find the right one. Then you have number of physical damage as extra fire damage. Okay, it's still, you need physical damage for it. All the skills have that. Then you have signature mods for minus mana, uh, cost of skills and increased damage in general. Which comes from Leo. Then shaped in elder stuff, but no. Hmm. It's really strange. Am I just imagining then this, but how can a cast build be offensive? With rings. It's not going to work. Hmm. You could only go for increased, let's say, cold damage. If you go for cold damage, maybe cast speed. You get two of those. And then you could go for... Uh, mana regeneration rate doesn't matter for a caster. Hmm. Doesn't matter at all for, like, almost all of the builds. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe some elemental resistance after you re-roll stuff. Huh. Try it. Alright. Mm, can you actually look the other way around? Like, let's say, bonus... Uh, flat amount of damage let's see add uh, fire damage add fire damage at cold damage let's go for add cold damage so cold damage category da 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 
Add a percentage of cold damage as another damage. No. Added cold damage support. Ice bite support. No. I just want to know like what kind of item can have that kind of thing on it. Flat added cold damage. Unique items that add a flat amount of cold damage. Gra or grant. Da, 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 da. But now I am not interested in it. Uh, so let's give increased cold damage. Convert it to cold damage. Add it as cold damage. Damage taken as cold damage. Add a percentage of cold damage as another damage type. Convert it to another damage type. Okay. Added damage. Ah. Okay, anyway, so we get the rings first. Maybe uh, we have a little more luck with, let's say, the accessories with the belt. Let's see. Or the amulet, maybe even. So, the belt. Uh, the prefix. What is on the belt itself? What kind of stuff do we have there? On the belt we have reflects physical damage to melee attackers, so everyone who's tanky, good thing. Uh, bonus to armor, uh, then we have the maximum energy shield, the maximum life, okay. So one thing for the caster, increased flask life recovery rate and flask mana recovery rate. Okay, uh, then you have increased elemental damage with attack skills again. So... What the hell is going on with these builds? It's always with attack skills. With attack skills. With attack skills. How am I supposed to improve these spell skills with it? Like the only way to improve uh, like spell skills is to give them higher uh, levels. That's one way of doing this. But if you do that, then you also take away, um, let's say, percentage... Because you have to put the gem in there, the gem needs to be on like a four socket at least, so it has to be on like boots, helmet, hands, maybe even the body armor. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty strange. Uh, increased stun and block recovery, flask charges, da 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 Okay, and the uh, like suffixes are on the belt are just strength, co uh, elemental resistance. Increased stun duration on enemies, reduced stun uh, threshold, stun block recovery, flask charges gained, used uh, flask effect duration, and life regenerated per second. So most of it, yeah, actually all of it, except for maybe flask charges, they're fairly general. But something fairly general to be put in here is like, okay. That means, okay, it's the option that is generally useful but we don't give you anything specific that's a bit iffy so okay what other thing do we have amulets what's more magic than an amulet actually rings come on uh okay the amulet again the hell we have uh the prefixes of adds number of uh physical damage to attacks again same thing as with the rings Energy shield, maximum energy shield. Yeah, defensive oriented builds can use this stuff. Then you have evasion rating, armor, life, uh, physical attack damage, leached as life or mana, something for maximum mana. And then we have increased spell damage. You have the passive tree for that. Uh, and increased rarity of items. Fine. So the prefixes on the amulet are also not very suitable for offensive casters. Then you have the suffixes, which do what? They give you bonus intelligence, like stats, accuracy, uh, intelligence and strength, dexterity, whatever. Cast speed, okay, something useful. Then you have crit, crit strike chance as a suffix. So you could use this and a crit strike multiplier, global one, together with the bonus to attacks. Like, they synergize far better for attack-oriented builds 